In the voice of Russia World Service, welcome to another edition of the Christian Message from Moscow. It is dedicated to the life and art of Russian Orthodox artist Valery Balabanov. Любовь к Господу, она мне даровала прикосновение в творчестве и в жизни к созданию тех картин, которые являются как бы... A tremendous love of our Lord generously endowed me with the ability to create artworks that are as if confessions of a Russian Orthodox artist, says Valery Balabanov. My paintings are prayers captured in color on canvas. I pray for peace, love, hope, our homeland, Remarks Valery Balabanov. Valery Balabanov was born and brought up in Moscow, the heart of our motherland, which was always famed for its Orthodox churches and holies. Valery recalls he was christened when still a little boy, yet he came to consciously embrace the faith when a mature person. Крещённый в детстве, я постепенно нарабатывая свой человеческий творческий опыт, прихожу к вере уже как бы самостоятельно. Gradually, as I accumulated personal and artistic experience, I found my way to the Orthodox faith through loss and sufferings as both artist and simply human being. The faith entered my soul as a science of love for the Lord. I sense this within me and perceive it as none other than a great gift from our Maker. At moments of particular trial for me, as individual and as artist, the Lord extends his hand to me, sending me ideas that I later embody in my art. I am overwhelmed with a reverence for the pure, pristine canvas as I embark on a new artistic effort in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. One of the very first paintings, Prayers, was written by Balavanov back in the 70s, and it was entitled The Swimmer. It was dedicated to the famous Moscow Cathedral of Christ the Saviour. This cathedral was erected in the 19th century to mark the victory of Russian forces in the war against Napoleon in 1812. In 1934, the Cathedral of Christ the Saviour was blown up by the Bolsheviks as part of their onslaught against the Orthodox faith. The site of the one-time Orthodox Holy in the heart of Moscow was taken over by a huge swimming pool. Valery Balabanov's painting depicts a high diving board, while in the water of the pool we see a reflection of the destroyed cathedral. The image of the church is crisscrossed by lanes, along one of which swims St. George the Victorious, the patron saint of Russian warriors and the heavenly patron of Moscow. 
The painting is imbued with hope for the cathedral's resurrection. Я не претендовал на пророчество. Это было как бы прикосновение свыше. Я почувствовал, что не я это пишу. Я это не мог объяснить в те времена, что я делал. I wasn't aspiring to any particular prophecy, says Valery Balabanov. I could feel the Lord's hand in this. At the time, I couldn't explain why I was writing that painting. Yet I was keenly aware it wasn't I who was painting it. It was the Lord's design, no less. Dreaming of seeing the cathedral resurrected, Valery Balabanov wrote the painting The Swimmer with love, joy and sorrow. From the moment it was first displayed at an exhibition in the House of Artists in Moscow, it generated a great deal of interest. The principal TV news feature in the Soviet Union at the time, Vremya, where, incidentally, Valery Balabanov was working, filmed it and crowds milled in front of it. Стояла бабушка какая-то, и внучка, или правнучку держала за ручку. И я слышал разговор, уже наблюдаю, как посторонний... I saw an old lady standing before my painting, holding her little granddaughter by the hand, says Valery Balabanov. I observed them and listened to them talking. Granddaughter, I used to go and pray at this cathedral, says the old woman. There you have it, a live link between the times. Two hands, that of an old woman and a child. And it was the Cathedral of Christ the Saviour, depicted in my painting, that summoned them. Possibly it was after their acquaintance with the painting that many of those attending the exhibition first allowed themselves the tentative hope that one day the church would indeed be rebuilt. In any case, at the end of the 1980s, a powerful public movement was formed for the resurrection of the Cathedral of Christ the Saviour. In Valery Balabanov's own words, he was greatly privileged to see his dream transformed into real life. After the fall of the communist regime, the Cathedral of Christ the Saviour was rebuilt in exactly the same spot in the heart of Moscow. It was God's will that the artist present the painting as a gift to the cathedral. It is there to this day. Valery Balabanov и когда я дарил эту картину на вечно Россию и Москве храму Христа Спасителя, его святейший патриарх московский Вся Руси Алексей II сказал: "Валерий Николаевич, ваша картина сбывается. Действительно, все в этом". When I was passing the painting over to the Cathedral of Christ the Saviour as a gift, His Holiness the Patriarch of Moscow and all Russia, Alexei II, said, "Your paintings come true." Indeed, everything in that painting became reality. The cathedral has been reinstated in its rightful place, and this is a sure sign of Russia's spiritual revival, its return to its roots. The painting The Swimmer found a following not only in this country but abroad too. In 1989, Berlin hosted an exhibition entitled Man, Space, Time, 20th Century. At the request of his German colleagues, Valery Balabanov granted permission for the painting to be placed on display there. It became an epigraph of sorts to the exhibition. It transpired the painting was something not only orthodox people, but representatives of all nationalities and confessions could relate to. Valery Balabanov says, Для меня не столь важно, к какой конфессии относится человек, какой он национальности цвета кожи. Я людей делю по такому моменту. For me, it really isn't important what confession one represents, what one's nationality or race are. I single people out based on a different principle. This is a lesson life taught me well. People create us and 
people destroys. The dominating idea of my art is that of good and evil, peace and war, life and death. These are topics the whole world understands. On the heels of the painting about the Cathedral of Christ the Saviour, Valery Balabanov wrote a cycle of artworks united under the title Prayer for the Romanovs, about the Tsar's family executed in 1918 by the Bolsheviks. One of the paintings of the cycle is Shooting Range, which is most symbolic, for at the time the rampant campaign against religion targeted the Tsar's family and all of Orthodox Russia. I regard that execution as a tremendous sin that all of us bear responsibility for, just as our descendants, says the artist. This is why he depicted the Emperor Nikolai II and his family as saints, long before they were indeed canonized by the Russian Orthodox Church on the borderline of the millennia. Я пишу вот эти картины, это картины молитвы, это моя молитва. Вот, например, я написал картину My paintings are my prayers, stresses Valery Balabanov. For example, I wrote the painting about Russian sailors who died tragically aboard the Kursk submarine several years ago. Prior to painting it, I consecrated the clean canvas with the image of the holy saint Fyodor Ushakov, admiral of the Russian fleet. After this, with prayer in my heart, I wrote the painting as a tribute to the memory of the sailors, people of different nationality and confessions, who were all christened together in the sea font. of love for one's homeland, the people around you, permeates all of Valery Balabanov's art. He says, This theme is very important for me, since here I approach the spiritual behest of Saint Sergius of Radinish, the patron and protector of the Russian land, particularly revered by me and our people, who used to say that through contemplation of the Holy Trinity, the fear and hated discord of this world are overcome. And he continued, we shall be saved through unity and love. This concerns not only our people, but all of humanity in the name of love and goodness in this world. The artist Balabanov considers his painting Flight of the Life-Giving Trinity as one of his most noteworthy works. It was written to mark 1,000 years of Christianity in Russia. In it, the Holy Trinity, as represented by the Father and the Son and the Holy Ghost, as if swooping from the heavens to this earth with the aim of helping our contemporaries regain lost faith, hope and love. <laughs> Yeah. 
Valery Balabanov says he always writes his paintings with a profound sense of penitence and a conviction that the Russian people are showing penitence in word and in deed. In this connection, he recalls an exhibition held in Moscow at the end of the 1980s dedicated to victims of Stalin's reprisals. The first three halls accommodated the works of the so-called enemies of the people. These were wonderful artists, wonderful people, who were destroyed in Stalin's camps. And each of the paintings, the terrifying caption, sentence executed. At the time my painting launched an exposition of works by contemporary authors, also dedicated to victims of Stalinism. It was entitled The Return of Pavel Florensky, an Orthodox clergyman who died in camp in 1937. I felt that the Lord had granted me the right to put in a word on behalf of those who were put to death in those days of dark obscurity. One of Valery Balabanov's works is entitled Prayer for Russia. In its very heart, it depicts the image of the Holy Virgin, who is protecting Russia with her holy veil. With the blessing of the Russian Orthodox Church, contemporary icon painters have made icons in copy of this and other paintings by Balabanov. Я знаю, что я грешен. Икона может писать только лишь чистый человек после поста. I know I have sinned, says Valery Balabanov. Only a pure person can write icons after fasting, confession and receiving blessing. Icons are written according to canon, while I do not paint icons. I paint what the Lord instructs me to. I sense the touch of the holy truth and to the measure of my abilities, I try to reflect that in my art. Orthodox artist Valery Balabanov regards the order of the holy pious Prince Daniel of Moscow as the principal assessment of his achievements. He received it for merit in spiritual rebirth of Russia. His efforts have indeed been given a duly high appraisal by the Russian Orthodox Church. Further proof of this, the missive from the Cathedral of Christ the Saviour that reads May your selfless service be blessed by the Lord and may your name be imprinted in the book of eternal life alongside a prayer for you and yours throughout time. And it is signed Patriarch of Moscow and all Russia Alexei II and Mayor of Moscow Yuri Lushkov. The name of popular artist of Russia Valery Balabanov is engraved in gold lettering behind the altar of the Cathedral of Christ the Saviour in a list of all those who participated in the resurrection of the cathedral. Мне нужно успеть. Вы меня спросите, а вдруг вы не успеете? А я вам могу сказать, что если это опять-таки промысел Божий, то что на чем я работаю, я обязательно успею. There is so much I need to do, says Valery Balabanov. You will ask me, what if you don't succeed? To this I shall reply. If it is God's design that all I am working on will come to be. However, if it is not in the Lord's plans, it shall never happen. All I know is this. There shall be an artist who will embrace the same ideas that I believe in. It is 
an eternal chain, a bond leading from the past into the present, and from the present to the future. I hope humanity will make its choice in favor of faith and harmony of the world. I would like to wish everyone spiritual light, peace and love in this difficult yet wonderful world. And there we end another edition of the Christian Message from Moscow, where we acquainted you with the art of Orthodox artist Valery Balabanov. The program was directed by Vladimir Dyomin, the author Olga Troshina, editor Tatiana Shvitsova, and your hosts Svetlana Yakmenko and Pavel Novichkov. All the very best to you, and may God save you from all evil, visible and invisible. Until we meet again in the next edition of the Christian Message from Moscow. Goodbye.